Hello, beautiful people of the internet. It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It is two days past when I should have uploaded this video, so I'm really sorry. Um, I think maybe I'll just change the weekly upload concept to Wednesday day uploads, Wednesdays, diaries, uh, that sounds a little weird, but maybe that's what we'll do, I don't know. So this past week was the 4th of July, happy birthday America, as you can see by the title, and I had a really good week last week, I didn't really do much on Monday, it was um, driving back from Michigan from Electric Forest, and then Tuesday was mostly just recovering and sleeping, because I didn't really sleep for the past four days before that. Um, Wednesday, I do not remember what I did last week, and then Thursday was a huge day for me. Uh, I started out really early in the morning with a job interview. I'm heading off to a job interview. It's like 7.30 in the morning, so this is very early for me. Um, pretty excited about it. I had to dig out the blazer. And, yeah, I don't know. I think business professional is so stupid, and I hate it. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I think a better way to have people be interviewed would be to tell them to wear what they think is appropriate to a job interview because that would definitely give you a lot more insight about future employees. So if I ever own a company, that, that's going to be my policy, I think. Alright, let's do this! Um, and then... Later, I went paddle boarding, and unfortunately my GoPro battery died, of course, just as we were about to go paddle boarding. Um, as so all I got was this one little clip of my friend Nida, who I went with here, and she's probably not going to be super happy with me for showing it, but I just need proof that we actually went paddle boarding, because we did. <laughs> Um, it was really fun. Uh, paddleboarding, I don't really know what all the hype is all about. People are just kind of obsessed with it right now. It's super trendy, and because of that, it's kind of expensive to rent the paddleboards. We just paddled out a little ways and then ended up just tanning in the middle of the lake, which was nice. Um, yeah, it was a good time. We went to Lake Nokomis in Minneapolis, which is a really underrated lake, I think. It's really a nice lake to swim in. Um, it's not as crowded, which is really nice, and they have a lot of things that you can rent and do, like kayaks and whatever, so I would highly recommend it if you live in the Twin Cities area to go check it out, Lake Nokomis. Um, and then after that, I went home, got showered, changed, and then I went to my good friend Molly's mom's wedding. Wedding time. Here we go, biking in style. The wedding was at the Weissman Art Museum, which is on campus, and I actually biked there in wedge heels, which is a lot easier than you would think. Um, the wedding was awesome, it was really beautiful, food was great, had a great time, it was really nice to be able to celebrate such an awesome marriage. Um, Second marriages are kind of special because it shows that even later in life you can find, you know, find love even after divorce and after, you know, a whole lifetime of things happen to you. So that was really, really special for me to be able to attend and be a part of. And then that night, after the wedding, I drove three hours up north to my family cabin for the 4th of July. We had a great 4th of July. I got to spend a lot of time with my cousins and my extended family and my grandpa, and it was all super fun. We went floating down a river on the 4th, just ate a ton of food all weekend, which was spectacular. Um, I think I gained about 20 pounds in three days. And yeah, I just had a really good time with my family. Um, and celebrating the birthday of America. Um, <laughs> the fireworks were great. We went to Zorba's, which is kind of a trashy bar chain on lakes in northern Minnesota, which is super fun as well.
one thing that was interesting about being up north is that you know a lot of times up in smaller more rural communities you have a wide range of opinions on certain things and on more than just one truck of course um, I saw a Confederate flag, which has been kind of a hot topic in the news lately due to the tragic shootings at the black, predominantly black church in Charleston, um, South Carolina, as well as a bunch of other churches that have been torched, and now this recoming of the Ku Klux Klan and all this other stuff that's going on with kind of just racial news and um, just things that are happening in America. And I saw a bunch of trucks that had an American flag and a Confederate flag on them, which is clearly those individuals way of proclaiming their beliefs which don't make any sense um if you are an american and you believe in the united states of america you shouldn't be flying a confederate flag which indicates that um the separation of the south and the north so it's the non-united states of america i'm not really sure why that is so hard to understand and it also stands for slavery, racism, um, just a time in our history where white people really dominated and uh, ran the lives of black people in this country and what it stands for, I mean it's disgusting. This is so, um, you know, I understand the wanting to preserve the freedom of speech, freedom of expression, but what it, what it comes down to is that flag stands for hate. It stands for bigotry. It stands for something very negative, a part of our past that really we should try to acknowledge and almost forget and move on and totally, you know, run our lives in the opposite direction. So it's pretty disgusting. Um, and just really frustrating to see that because, you know, you want to confront people and say, like, you know, what the hell are you doing? But there's really no point in that because obviously a lot of people don't want to change their beliefs or their views. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to mention that in this video because that was just kind of troubling to me. Um, my heart and prayers and thoughts are with the people who have been really suffering from these shootings. Um, all of my, you know, black friends, um, everyone who's kind of suffered at, under the hands of injustice and racism in this country. I mean, in my opinion, flying a Confederate flag is equivalent to flying the swastika. Like, it's hate speech. It's not something that needs to be shown unless, obviously, for historical teaching purposes. Um, driving it around on your truck that you, you know, along with an American flag is not teaching anyone anything. It's just proclaiming that you're, number one, an idiot, and number two, probably also a racist, which is just really unfortunate. So yeah, I didn't really want this video to turn into a rant, but I just think sometimes those things need to be said. Just remember, in the meantime, stay positive, always seek out adventure, and don't own anything that has the Confederate flag on it. Don't be an idiot. Alright, I love you guys, and I will see you next week for a very exciting announcement in my video next week, which I think I will try to have up next Wednesday. Okay, bye!